What is going on YouTube fam? It is your boy Dylan Flex and TGIF. Thank God it is Flex Friday and we are flexing into the weekend. Today we are doing shoulders. I'm gonna show you guys how to do those big shoulders. All three heads, front, medial, and rear. I'm gonna show you guys the proper way how to get those big shoulders. The coolest thing about doing shoulders is when your shoulders are good, it makes your chest look better. When your shoulders are also good, it makes your waist look even tinier. So the illusion of that is so important. Guys, you have to warm up. I just got a little warm up in right now and I'm gonna show you a variation of a press that I like to do. You could also do barbell press, but I'm using a Smith machine press for this. I'm gonna show you guys how this is done. Guys, I use a false grip on this. I use a shoulder width grip as well. I press up, I go slow on the way down. I don't go too low and I don't lock out. If I lock out, it keeps tension off my shoulders and puts it on my triceps. I don't wanna get triceps, I wanna get these big shoulders. I go down slow. It's so important to do form guys, you do not want to get hurt. I'm gonna do 12 to 15 reps on this. I do a weight that I'm comfortable with, that I can perform with good form. Slow, 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 don't go all the way down. Up, don't lock out. I'm gonna do three sets of that, I'm gonna keep that anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. I already got a pump off that. I'm gonna increase the weight. I'm gonna move into another press now. This is a really cool one. There's different variations I can show you. This is called dumbbell press. Let's get into it. So after I just did three sets of the Smith machine, like I said, you guys can do it on barbell as well. I'm gonna move into now dumbbell press on a seated bench. I do it on a seated bench because I don't want to get too jerky. I see people's form kind of pressing weight and they're jerking the form. I keep my back straight and I'm going to show you a couple different variations I can do. Up, same thing, I don't lock my arms. I keep the constant tension on my shoulders. The coolest thing about dumbbells is, is I can now rotate my hands and it now hits another part of the shoulder. I'm gonna do 12 to 15 reps on this. Focusing on the form. These kill, these are killer. That rotation puts a lot more tension on the front delts as well. I'm gonna do three sets of that. I'm gonna keep the reps anywhere from 12 to 15. I'm gonna rest 90 seconds in between that. That's a killer one. I'm gonna show you guys a variation I like to do now. It's a press, but I'm gonna show you why I like it. So a shoulder finisher I like to do that really burns is a shoulder press. I'm gonna show you how it's done. I keep one up and I keep my arms bent. I do not wanna put constant tension on the tricep like I told you guys. One down and that one goes up. When this one goes up, this one goes down and I'm squeezing the shoulders every single time I go down. This is a burning one. I'll do 10 reps of this. After I do 10 reps, I'll do two of them at the same time. 10 reps. This is a really good finisher. And if I can't do any more, I do partial reps. After three sets of that, you are so burned out. I'm gonna show you guys how to do rear delt now. Okay, so now we're jumping into rear delt. This is that 3D look that is really cool. It is right here, it's the back of the shoulder. This is a seated rear delt motion, and guys, you do not have to go heavy on this. It is all about isolating the muscle and working smart. I keep my arms, and I bend over down like this. I bring the weight up, and I squeeze. I do 15 reps of this, and I'm not jerky. I see a lot of people going too heavy, and they're jerking the weight. No, slow and concentrated, we isolate the rear delt. Each time I go up, I squeeze. I'm using my elbows at leverage. The rear delt is such a small muscle, so you guys know when it's triggering. You feel it, the burn is crazy. After I do seated three sets of that, I now jump into standing. Same thing, I bend over. My knees are bent, I go up, I squeeze each rep. It's important you guys don't go too heavy on this. Constant tension on the muscle. And if you get close, you can see the rear delt working. I'm 
three sets of seated, three sets of standing. My rear delts are pumped. I'm gonna show you one more rear delt that I really like to do that's a finisher for this. Let's get it. So after we just did three sets each on seated rear delt and standing, this is a finisher I love to do to really get those round shoulders. And if you guys don't have this machine, you guys can still do the dumbbell standing and seated. I love this finisher, it's really good. Keep my chest straight up. I go back. I don't keep my arms extended. I keep constant tension on the rear delt. You guys don't have to go heavy with this either. I'm gonna do 15 reps. You guys can see the rear delt working. Slow and steady, squeezing each rep. These are the ones you gotta fight for, guys. So after I do three sets of that, like I said, anywhere from 12 to 15 reps, my rear delts are fired up. I'm gonna show you now how to really round those delts out with side lifts. Let's get it. Okay, so we're jumping now into side laterals to really get the medial head of the shoulder. Whew. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm gonna keep 12 to 15 reps again on this. My knees are bent. I go in front of me, I go up, I pause for a second, I go back down. And I twist my thumbs down as I go up to really squeeze the shoulder. You don't have to go heavy, guys. And when you feel the burn, you know it's working. Ah, when I can't do it anymore, I'm doing partials. Ah. And if the weight is too heavy, do not jerk it. You wanna keep constant tension on that shoulder. Do not waste any of that set in that weight. I'm gonna do three sets of that, 12 to 15 reps. 90 second rest, I'm already breath, you guys can already see it. Okay, so after we just did standing side laterals, I'm gonna do machine side laterals. I'm doing the machine before because it's not gonna be so jerky, it's gonna keep constant tension on the shoulder like I keep stressing to you guys. Let's get it. I like keeping a false grip for this too. I just feel like it's a better squeeze and I can not squeeze my hands, I squeeze my shoulder. I keep my arms slightly bent. I go all the way up, slow down, and up again. I don't want the shoulder to rest, I don't wanna give it time to rest. I'm gonna do 15 reps on this. By now your guys' shoulders should be so pumped. It should be insane, because my shoulders are fired up. I can't do any more, I'm doing partials. After three sets of that, 12 to 15 reps, I'm gonna rest like 90 seconds, gonna keep the blood in there. I'm gonna show you guys a finisher I like to do. It's for front delts, it's to get those shoulders big. Let's get it. So by now your shoulders should be so round and so pumped up, I know you guys can see mine. So when you step out tonight for Flex Friday and you have your date or whatever you're doing, you can feel proud, you can feel strong. I'm gonna show you a finisher I like to do for front delts. I do this seated so I don't swing as much. I go two at a time, I do a hammer grip and I go up like this. And I squeeze, I go in to squeeze the front delt. I'll do five like this, I'll rotate my hands and I'll go up like this, another five. I'll switch again and then I'll hold for five seconds. This is one of those workouts that's a burning workout. You don't have to go that heavy. You don't need to, you already went heavy, you already did the heavy weights, you already did the compound movements. Now you can really squeeze and really fill in those fine details and those cuts that you want. Because let's be honest guys, who doesn't want to be cut? I mean, come on. So that is a wrap for Flex Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed that shoulder workout. Next Friday, I had a lot of people telling and asking me. We are gonna do legs, so make sure you stay tuned for a gruesome leg workout. I'm gonna show you guys how to build those big quads and those hamstrings. And I wanted to say thank you to everyone who entered that raffle for capital. Those giveaways are so cool, guys, and I'm so happy to give back to you. I have a lot more in store. I have a lot of giveaways that I'm gonna continue to do. And you guys, make sure you continue to subscribe to me. And we are almost at 25K, guys, so you know what that means, a big giveaway in the works. And if you have not already, join the Flex Squad. Man, I just wanna go flex. Gold on my teeth and on my neck.